Hello class, my name is Raymond Lewis, and today we will explore the endless possibilities you can obtain if you master self-discipline. When you think of the greatest athletes, how do you think they were able to achieve success? Was it luck? Was it genes? I say it's their highly developed self-discipline quality. Athletes like Usain Bolt, Michael Jordan, or Michael Phelps were all the most self-disciplined athletes in their sports. Furthermore, you could compare these athletes to successful businessmen. People like Mark Rubin, Tyler Perry, Bill Gates were all people who had a very high skill of self-discipline. In this presentation, we will explore the meaning, ex example, and applications of self-discipline. In order to obtain this quality and to be effective with this quality, one must understand what it means to be self-disciplined. The definition of self-discipline is an ability to control one's feelings and overcome one's weaknesses. Furthermore, it's the ability to pursue what one thinks is right despite temptations to abandon it. In this, in this presentation, we will dive deeper in how in the first part, how you're able to overcome your weaknesses, and in the second part, how you can fail and fall into the temptations. Class, I am a man who also works every day to try to perfect this quality. On my left is me in fall 2022, and I was weighing approximately 335 pounds. I played right guard for the school of West Georgia, and in, or in order to maintain this weight, I had to train, eat, and drink three times my body weight. That alone took a lot of self-discipline, but in the end, I decided to make a change in, with things. Right now, I'm currently 270. And I feel amazing. Although I feel great, the journey seemed almost impossible. There are many times where I sh would be tempted to quit, but I was able to pull myself out of it. But when you're practicing self-discipline, you must be able to overcome the temptations. And more and more you overcome these trials of temptations, it easier, it's easier for the next trial of temptation when it comes to you next. I found that found out that with repetition and focus, self-discipline is a quality that is not far from reach. Many are able to face these challenges, but some aren't. And when they face these challenges, life slaps them in the face. Ouch. Now class, I know we were all flooded with notifications when Will Smith couldn't stay disciplined. Will Smith is a very successful actor who managed to steal America's hearts with his charisma and his acting skills. Let's look at the definition of self-discipline. It first states the ability to control one's feelings and to overcome one's weaknesses. At this moment, Chris Rock made a joke attacking Will Smith's one weakness, his wife. Will Smith lost control of his feelings and fell into a weakness and acted out of anger. In that moment, Will Smith was acting out of character. Although this slap was heard around the world, the media was slapping his name in the dirt. Will Smith lost a lot of future and current opportunities because he couldn't control his feelings and overcome his weaknesses. Class, many of us are preparing or are already in the professional world. We are faced with many obstacles, temptations, emotions while navigating through this world of business. If you seek a version of yourself that exceeds your own expectations, here are four tips that will help you. One, create a goal for yourself that's challenging, but are attainable. Two, once you make these goals, stick to the plan. Three, the third tip is to get rid of these distractions. And finally, be accountable for yourself. In conclusion class, self-discipline is a quality that is always developing and that you should always be developing. We talked about how my own experiences with self-discipline and Will Smith's experiences and how one can succeed with self-discipline and how one can fail and fall into temptation. I left you with four tips. One, create the goal that's obtainable. Two, stick to the plan. Three, get rid of the distractions. And four, be accountable for yourself. And with that, thank you.